Now to the Clinton crisis everyone would have been talking about if not for that health scare yesterday. These comments that Hillary made at a fundraiser Friday. To just be grossly generalistic, you could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And unfortunately, there are people like that. And he has lifted them up. Okay. Now, Trump, as you'd expect any opponent would, but he and his backers, they pounced at the comment there. And we'll have a little bit more on that in the show. Clinton, she didn't wait more than a news cycle. She quickly apologized for the comments. But the question is, was this a case of Clinton erring by saying the truth or being what Donald Trump would say, not PC here, saying it the way it is? Well, let's have some numbers here to give a little perspective. In a national Reuters poll, 33% of Trump supporters said they think black Americans are less intelligent than white Americans. 40% say blacks are lazier. 45% of Trumpsters uh, say that blacks are ruder than whites and nearly half say blacks more violent while 46% of Trump supporters thinks blacks have more criminal tendencies than white people do. You want more? Well, how about Trump supporters' views when it comes to our president, okay? Here's what they have to say about Obama. This is a national PPP poll. 65%, two out of three Trump supporters, think the president is, in fact, Muslim. I'll end the suspense. He is not. And nearly three in five Trump supporters think that he was not born in the United States. Again, he was. Trump supporters in South Carolina say things even more deplorable here. 80% they want to ban all Muslims from coming into the U.S. 31% want to ban homosexuals from coming into the country. And again, nearly two in three want a national database to register all Muslims, even those with no connections to crime or terror. And two in five, they want every mosque in America shut down. And one third of all Trump supporters in South Carolina think Islam should be made Illegal. That's the entire faith. Okay, so I think half's probably an exaggeration by her, but when we go down the numbers, and there was too many to do in the segment, Jeannie, but you know polls as well as anybody that I know, he has given rise. I, I mentioned this uh, this morning in our production meeting. W when you talk about phobes and ists, you know, those things were never anything you wanted to court. I, you got to go back to the Pat Buchanan campaign. I remember covering that one, that it would be like this. But he openly invites those folks in and panders to it. She might have been wrong with 50%, but I don't think she was far off. Here's, here's what I would say, that those statistics that you just read, those views are deplorable, and they should be attacked, and they should be dismantled, and people should be taught that those are absolutely un-American and unacceptable and immoral and unethical things to say and believe. That's one thing. What Hillary Clinton did, however, was a huge faux pas. Yep. She did not attack people's views or challenge their views or be a leader and try to educate people about their views. What she did was she called a large segment of the American public deplorable. And that is never <clears throat> a good idea. So, you know, I happen to think, by the way, that she did it for strategic reasons. So I don't... Do you think she consciously did I, that? I, well, she knew the press was there. She said it in an, in an interview with Israeli television. She said, been saying it right along in many, many of these fundraisers. She said it in front of reporters. I think she firmly believes and the campaign believed this was a way to get out the vote because once again, this is all about getting out the vote. I don't think they banked on the fact that it was going to come across in the way that it did or they would get the backlash they did. Do you but think I do it's going to have the impact of a Romney in the 47 percent? It could. And I think, again, I think it was a very, very poor choice of words. The, their beliefs are deplorable. Xenophobia is deplorable. Racism is deplorable. You don't call other people's voters and large segments of the population deplorable and hope to be president of the United States. It's just not a winning strategy or a good idea by any stretch of the imagination. Um, listen, I haven't heard anybody say it was smart politics, Don, but you can make the argument those folks weren't voting for her anyway. Anybody who thinks that those comments referred to them, they weren't voting for her, period. The only thing that they may, maybe they may not love all of Trump, but they hate her, period. So, but Richard, but you, you, don't, you don't, but yeah. you don't, you don't, there's no way we can excuse that. 
absolutely none. We can't rationalize it, what she said. There's no way around it. And we've been down this road before. When the Clintons were up against this upstart from Illinois, a good-looking young man, they lashed out in ways that was counterproductive against Obama. It is my contention that what we're seeing, I don't know if it was the pneumonia, but it's my contention that here we go again. This time, this is a hard stretch, replace Obama with a guy named Trump. And Hillary sees him coming up. And her but back she didn't attack, But she didn't attack, as you know, eight years ago. She didn't go after Obama's her supporters. Husband, her husband no, was No, he despicable. went after the candidate, which her is different than the despicable. supporters. Yes. Okay. You think it's going to really hurt here, or do you think that the support is so baked in as it relates to the people that will take umbers to this remark that it could really move the needle one way or the other? Look, I think there's a large group of Trump's voters that are baked in. And so there, I, you were right to that extent, that some percentage of the... 40% that he's been able to get weren't going to go to her no matter what. But there is a group of people that are just off of that base of support. The people who maybe take a critical view of a group like Black Lives Matter, but would not consider themselves racist in any way. But they're a little uncomfortable about which way they're going to go with their support. Or they look at the immigration issue and they think, you know, it's not, you know, I, I'm fine with Mexicans, but maybe there should be a wall and maybe we do need to clamp down on the border. That's the kind of... You know, all of a sudden Hillary put those people who are in the fringes as being potentially in that basket of deplorables. And so she might lose some votes out of the middle that way from the undecided voters. Can we also just, however, acknowledge, and you did, that she did immediately apologize. And that is something that Donald Trump has not done. Yeah. And he has said many deplorable things. And so his attack on her on this issue is almost laughable when you look at it. He's right to attack her on it, but it's hard to hear it coming from him because at Hot least in her... Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, you know deplorable things, Trump is saying. I, know you well, gotta, I just want to say this quickly. Let's keep in mind that in, in Hillary's defense, she made the comment knowing that it was full public and the media was there. When Mitt Romney done it, it was done on the down low where he thought that it was not being recorded and the bar to that happened. never made a distinction. You say something out loud, you're a, a candidate, you need to own it. it. But wait, if Hillary said it in public, at least she's being up for it and straight. She's not hot. She's not saying okay. nothing in public right. and saying something else. We don't have time for this. I only say this, and we've, Dom and I have talked about this before, and, and I'm not naive on many things, but I don't think that's one of them. One thing that came out of this campaign, regardless of how it ends in November, there's a lot more ugliness than some of us really thought there was in this country. No. No, we knew there was some. No. But the numbers and the really? percentages of it, even worse than some of us thought. <laughs> Stifled Don. All right, coming up next, speaking of the deplorables, Donald Trump attacked Clinton for that comment here, accusing her of name-calling and viewing people as objects. I wonder what the next American judge here uh, would have to say to one Donald Trump about that, or, for example, the Muslim family who spoke at the Democratic convention. And don't let doubles, uh, double standarding by the Donald um, go unchecked. We're going to talk about double standards right after this quick commercial break.